Are you struggling with the thought of forgiving someone? You you just have that thought that comes up, maybe not that often, but every once in a while of, you know, I need to make this right. And then immediately what happens? Because it happens, you know, it happens to me, it's happened to me as well, is that when we have that thought, we immediately have a follow-up thought. Oh, well, this is why I don't need to do that. Or this is what they did that caused me to do, you know, something rationalization, right, comes into play. But you know, forgiving, forgiving someone who's not asking to be forgiven is one of the hardest things um, I think we're faced with as Christians. It's one of the things that really doesn't make sense. It seems unfair. It seems uh, unlogical of forgiving someone, especially, again, you know, when they've not asked for it. Because I don't know about you, but when someone has done me wrong, when someone has done my family wrong, or, you know, something around that situation, something that's just kind of blatant, especially, it's it's hurtful. It's hard to deal with. And it's, you know, makes me, you know, want to have vengeance. It makes me want to get my pound of flesh. And I think if most Christians, if not all, Christians were honest, we all have those thoughts of, you know, if I could get my hands around the neck of that person and not get caught, you know, no videos be taken of it, would I do it? And, you know, that's where it stops, right? Or hopefully that's where it stops. Hopefully it doesn't go any further than that. But it's kind of one of those fleeting things of not only am I not going to forgive them, um, it also has reminded me of what I'd like to do to them. And that's just something that happens. It happens in your mind and in my mind and in others' minds. And while this thought, while that thought of, you know, I don't have to forgive and this is why, while it may seem natural, it may, you know, make us feel better for the moment. It may get us through um, whatever we're going through and our, our thought process or whatever came up verbally in the conversation. But The one thing I want to challenge you on to see if you agree with me on this. If that is how we handle things, uh, which I I do, not as much as I used to, but I used to handle things mostly that way. Like, you know, it's on them, not me. Um, But that thought mentality of, you know, rationalization and this is why I did it and this is why I don't have to do that, it goes against God's word. Because... In the scriptures, in Jesus' own words, it's extremely clear why we have to forgive others. It's not like, oh, forgive them when you feel like it, or forgive them when the moment hits you, or even forgive them when they ask for forgiveness. It just says to forgive. It says to forgive them the way Christ has forgiven us. Forgive them the way God has forgiven us. And that's, that's hard. It's a hard thing to do, but it's in God's Word. So if you're striving to serve God and you think, you know, what what could be a little bump in this relationship? What could be holding me back from God? Look into the, I don't want to forgive. I don't want to forgive others. You know, God, I don't want to forgive that person. Or I, I definitely am not forgiving that person. If you find yourself having those thoughts, if you have your, you know, um, moments where those are going through your head, just really start, you know, focusing on what would God have you to do? What does God's Word say about it? And then if you need some resources, if you're looking for some opinions or some other thoughts or some processes of how to forgive someone, you can visit handlinglife.org. There you'll find other podcasts. You'll find a a free program that involves a book and online videos and uh, assessment quizzes and things like that. So it's something that it's free. And it's something that you can uh, use in your life to see, you know, what you're doing, the thoughts you're currently having. Does it line up to where God wants you to be? And obviously the most important thing, the greatest source you can go to is right to God's Word. I'm Nathan Tabor with Handling Life. I can, if I can help you with anything, answer any questions, or if you have a minute to share this with someone or write a podcast review, I would really appreciate that. And you can find out more about this ministry at handlinglife.org.